My name is Noelle Noyes, and I am an assistant professor in the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Minnesota. And I sort of live in the Department of Veterinary Population Medicine. And so we look at how diseases um, act within populations of animals and then also between animals and humans. AMR uh, or antimicrobial resistance is obviously a big concern um, for humans and also actually for animals. And so as a veterinarian, we think about both um, antibiotic resistant bacteria um, impacting public health, so um, the health of humans and the public more generally, but we also worry about antibiotic resistant infections in the animals that we treat. Veterinarians do a lot to try to combat antibiotic resistance simply by trying to keep animals healthy. Um, of course, every everyone gets sick once in a while, and that's the same for animals as well. And so in those instances, um, we have to reach to other tools to help animals um, stay healthy or, or get better. And um, some of those tools involve using antibiotics. And so when veterinarians go to use an antibiotic, they use their training and their experience and then also information about the disease itself to choose the most appropriate antibiotic to, to treat that animal. Um, and so that's the second tool we have is using antibiotics appropriately at the right time um, for the right purpose. And then beyond that, um, another major strategy that we have as veterinarians um, and as also as farmers is to um, do our best to prevent the transmission of bacteria and potentially antibiotic resistant bacteria through the food chain. And there have been programs in place to prevent that transmission for decades in the US. Uh, and those include things like really important food safety measures that occur um, before food is sent out to the grocery store and then also once the food is in the grocery store. So those are three areas where veterinarians play a big role. Probably the most important area um, where we can combat antibiotic resistance is actually um, at least antibiotic resistance transmission from animals to humans is actually in the home. And that includes um, that we as people have to be really good about um, food, safe food handling, cooking our meat to the proper temperature, um, preventing cross-contamination within the kitchen. And so those are things that veterinarians don't have as much control over, but we do try to get the message out that um, food handling techniques are really important. As with anything, uh, the system's not perfect all the time, right? So we we still experience um, antibiotic resistant um, infections in both animals and in people. And so we always need to be using the latest technologies and um, the latest science uh, to help us improve the system um, on a continuous basis. And that's a lot of what um, veterinary researchers such as myself try to work on, um, is trying to identify those latest and greatest technologies that can help us combat antibiotic resistance. And that uh, is challenging because, of course, there's just um, limited funds to drive that type of science. And so I think one of the major barriers um, right now facing the animal agriculture industry is just a lack of funds for scientific discovery. And that includes scientific discovery for things like more effective vaccines, um, again, so that we prevent animals from getting sick in the first place. Um, so vaccine development probably needs a lot more funding. Um, obviously, funding to look for other alternative treatments to antibiotics when animals do get sick, I think is really important. Um, and so that's where I'd love to see some more of our um, more of our funding going towards those types of fundamental discoveries. One thing that we don't think about um, is that our, our pets, our dogs and cats and other animals that we may have in our household, um, they also get sick. Um, and so as a, as a pet owner, um, you may start thinking, well, what does it mean if my pet's on antibiotics? Do I need to be worried? And I think that the main thing to think about is just sort of the, the very basic things that we talk about, like hand washing, um, making sure that you're using the antibiotic in the way that it was prescribed by the veterinarian and making sure that you go back to your veterinarian and, and get your animal 
checked up after they've been on antibiotics to make sure that the infection is under control um, and that you used the drugs in the appropriate way and that your pet doesn't need a different or further treatment. Another thing that a lot of people um, are concerned about is that veterinarians and farmers are using antibiotics to make their animals grow faster. Uh, and that's, sort of, that's what we call growth promotion use of antibiotics. And that practice um, has actually um, been banned in the United States for several years now. And so um, veterinarians truly are now when they're using drugs, uh, antibiotic drugs, they're using those antibiotics to prevent, control, or treat animals that um, are sick or are about to become sick. And so um, I think that that's an area where the public um, would really understand that, yes, we need to treat sick animals with drugs. It's, it's an animal welfare issue if we don't. Um, and to really understand that veterinarians are not using these antibiotics to make animals grow faster. They're using them to keep them healthy.